there's been shootings pretty much every month, more than once a month, near near us. All in this neighborhood, there's a lot of us who live here, a lot of us friends who live here, basically, and um, we all decided that finally enough, basically enough was enough for us or whatever to not get together and at least have a talk about it. I was acquainted with the um, young man who was uh, killed. Uh, he was a friend of mine, and I know him and his brother and their friends um, because I used to live over there in that neighborhood, and so, you know, naturally I'm concerned about what happened, and I wanted to come to the meeting to see what other people were feeling and thinking about and um, to see if there's some way we could come together and find some some ways we could work toward making things better. Well, I'd already been reflecting on the fact that hurt people hurt people, so I think that's kind of where some of the systemic problem is coming from. But I, or, And we've also talked about how the more opportunities that people have, you know, the less likely they are to succumb to these, you know, um, ways that are hurting themselves, really, and hurting the community. The social revolution means much more than the reorganization of conditions only. It means the establishment of new human values and social relationships. It means a different spirit in individual and collective life, and that spirit cannot be born overnight. It is a spirit to be cultivated, to be nurtured and reared, as the most delicate flower is, for indeed it is the flower of a new and beautiful existence. This was kind of like a let your feelings be known, why are you here, um, you know, what what's the purpose of, of us coming together other than just the fact that we all like each other and that we're all friends. I think there were a lot of really productive ideas that were put forth and so I think um, I'm looking forward to see what happens. You know, I think this could be some seeds being planted here today that will that will grow and turn into something really great. I really feel positive about it. So. Raising the, you know, the, the, the standard of living we have so we're not like so focused on survival but more so like thriving as interconnected parts of one community, if you will. First, I think we need to research and see what um, youth organizations there already are and how we can contribute maybe to positive ones that have, you know, I heard already mention of camps that have been cut and it seemed like camps are actually something that could be very, very valuable for, you know, our uh, the health of our community. So we can work in tandem and in unison uh, would be a good uh, starting point. You know? and I think that Long Beach, we have that ability because we just naturally sort of congregate to good vibes, you know what I mean? So, like cool vibes, you know. And, uh, as far as, it's, it's having the time because we're so caught up in our lives too. You know, it's having the time to really get involved in seriously understanding what everybody going through and not being judgmental and letting people be themselves as they come in to tell us in any direction and way. That's the only way we're going to find the truth. And then we start correcting ourselves. Once we put everything on the table, this is me. That's me too. 